As you can see by the display of firearms today, the, 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 and narcotics and related evidence before you, investigators are able to substantiate and now allege that the Five Point Generals were involved in extensive gun and drug activity. I can advise that 60 of the handguns that you see before you today were obtained in a single seizure from an individual who was intending on delivering them to high-ranking individuals within the Five Point Generals hierarchy. The guns were destined to become crime guns in Toronto and the GTA. This represents the largest single seizure of crime guns in the history of the Toronto Police Service. In addition, at one of the residences yesterday, officers located a handgun manufacturing and modification operation that was set up for the purpose of assembling handguns. The information we had in relation to murders and attempted murders um, really formed the uh, genesis of this investigation. We had intelligence, uh, which we felt was uh, legitimate concrete intelligence that told us that this group was involved in those activities. Um, I will not get into specifics as to exactly which incidents uh, because they are still under investigation. I can advise you that as the investigation unfolded, um, we have put people before the courts now who were involved in firearms discharges and uh, attempt murders but I can't go into specifics at this time.